I draw youth's threat to shut down a gap over failure to implement. Aggrieved I draw leaders complained that a gap had refused to implement the memorandum, and had taken to deploying military personnel to the area whenever indigenes demanded for their rights. The youth leaders also lamented over the fact that the company had refused to pay compensation to the communities after repeated oil spillages. The president of the Ijaw Youth Council called on the federal government and the state governor to compel AGIT to respect them in order to avoid grave repercussions. Following its alleged refusal to honor a memorandum of understanding, hmm, two oil-producing towns in Bailsa State have threatened to shut down the operations of the Nigeria Agip oil company, NAC. According to reports, the warning was given over the weekend when leaders of Ogbo and Biri and Azuzo Ama the affected areas led by Tari Akuzo and Walter John Molo, staged a march to the president of the Ijaw Youth Council, Inc., Worldwide Air Comair. Nage. Com notes that the aggrieved youth leaders informed Amer that the oil company had refused to implement the memorandum and had taken to deploying military personnel to the area whenever indigenes demanded for their rights. They stated, We have been pushed to the wall and we have issued an ultimatum to shut down AGIP operations in the communities by asking AGIP workers to leave. The youth leaders also complained that the company had refused to pay compensation to the communities after repeated oil spillages. They recalled that 67 persons had died in 2007, as a result of the mismanagement of Mbai, Agapinogboy and Biri community. According to the youth leaders, a fire incident at Azuzo Ama community from the negligence of Agup in 2015 led to the death of several persons including late Linus Apunamakamur in respect of which Agup has refused to pay compensation to the family up till date. In response, Amer urged Egypt to observe international best practices in the oil and gas industry and honor them it entered into with the host communities. Amer also appealed to the federal government and the Bailsa state governor to compel Agip to respect them in order to avoid a violent shutdown of operations with grave security and economic implications. Com previously reported that the Black Devils, one of the Niger Delta militant pirate gangs gave reasons why they attack expatriate companies such as Agip, Shell, Chevron and others and take hostages for huge ransoms. The heavily armed militants claim the expatriate companies come to exploit them without employing them or giving them their due.